You know, I've spent most of today preparing a video on linking words for you. So these connectors that we use to link ideas in our speech, they're very useful. Um, so I was compiling this list of words like nonetheless, nevertheless, furthermore, what is more, in spite of, despite, even though, although, you know, the kind of words. Um, and I, I started to think, as this list got bigger and bigger, how can I teach all of these words in one video? So I started watching other YouTube videos on the same subject. And as I was watching, I had a, a moment of realization, a, a eureka moment. Uh, and I started thinking, do we really use all of these, these linkers as native speakers in real English? So I started crossing out all these linkers that we don't really use. And I ended up with nine. So these are the nine linking words that native speakers really use and that you need to know. Okay, let's do this. Thank you for joining me again for another video, To The Pointers. My name's Ben, this is To The Point English. Um, now, don't get me wrong, all linking words and expressions are useful. We use them a lot in formal writing. Uh, we use them in speeches and talks. Um, and also, if you're preparing for an English exam, you'll need to know a lot of these, these linkers. And in general, anyone who's learning English as a second language benefits from having options to e express themselves. So in a future video, I will look at some of the more formal alternatives. But I'm a big believer in the, the KISS idea. So the keep it simple, stupid. In real English, when you're trying to express yourself in real situations, it's better to keep it simple. And these nine linkers that I'm going to teach you are enough to express yourself in 99.9% .9 of situations. Now, the first three are very basic. And I assume if you're watching this video and understanding what I'm saying, you know how to use them. Yeah, they're very common. They're the most common linkers. They are and, because, and but. So I don't think I need to explain anything about those, but I need to mention them because they are linkers and they are extremely common in English. But there are others which are also extremely common that you're probably not using as much as you should be. For example, though. So not although or even though, but though. We use this a lot in English, really. It's very, very common. But very few non-native English speakers use it enough in my experience, in my observations. Now we use though to express contrast and it's very similar to even though and although and in spite of, despite, however, nonetheless, nevertheless, but it's much more common in real English as I said. For example, I would like to buy an ice cream. I don't have enough money though. So in that example I could say I would like to buy an ice cream, however, I don't have enough money. Or you could say although I don't have any money, I would like to buy an ice cream or I don't have any money nevertheless I would like to buy an ice cream but those those examples just aren't very common though is much more common we use it a lot okay the next one is instead of and we use instead of to mean in place of and it's very common too so let's look at some examples it was raining so I took the bus instead of cycling to work okay so I had two options and I chose cycling because it was raining as you can see in that sentence, when instead of is followed by a verb, it's always in the gerund form, always in the ing form, so instead of cycling. But sometimes, of course, instead of is followed by a noun, not a verb. So, for example, we didn't have any milk, so I had tea instead of coffee. Okay? The next one is also very common, of course, and it's so. Now, so is a synonym of therefore, but again, therefore is very formal. It's good for writing, but not in normal conversation. And so is used to introduce a result or a decision. And we saw it in the last example, didn't we? It was raining, so I took the bus instead of cycling to work. The result or the decision was that I took the bus instead of cycling to work because it was raining. So that's the result or the decision. Another example, he doesn't speak English, so he didn't get the job. So that's the result of his inability to speak English, is, is that he didn't get the job. The next one you probably know well, but it's very useful and very common, and it's also. 
and we use also to to give extra information we could use furthermore moreover in addition to what is more besides we have other alternatives but we don't <laughs> we don't use them in in normal conversation we use also so for example the house has three bedrooms it also has a big garden so you're emphasizing this is good this is all good and not not only does it have three bedrooms but it also has a big garden so again you could say the house has three bedrooms furthermore it has a big garden it's perfectly good but it's very formal and we don't really use it in normal english written english yes but not normal spoken english now what about if you want to give an example when you're speaking well you could just say for example or such as but again we don't really use those words in spoken english so much so we usually simply say like she loves 60s music like the beatles and the rolling stones or he watches a lot of english series like downton abbey and sherlock okay so very very simple and common way to give examples like is an extremely common word in english we use it in a lot of different uh, contexts and with a lot of different meanings and finally especially uh, now we use especially to really emphasize that something is more important or above another thing the other thing that we're talking about in at that moment uh, we could use above all but again it's a little too formal for normal real conversation uh, an example i like spanish food especially paella yes i know it's paella so i'm just emphasizing there that that particular spanish food that dish is above the others so especially paella okay if you liked this video guys give it a like hit the subscribe button if you didn't i'm sorry but i hope to see you in the next video anyway um yeah thank you for joining me and i'll see you very soon bye